If there was anyone who tormented and fought the action group party in pre-independence Nigeria, it would be that politician from Ibadan, Adeguke Adilabu. Adilabu was a thorn in the flesh for Awolo and his followers in the action group party. From 1955 to 1956, Adeguke Adilabu was a federal minister who superintended the Ministry of Natural Resources and Social Services. As a leader of his party, the National Council of Nigerian Citizens NCNC, Adilabu was an opposition leader at the Western Regional House of Assembly in the capital, Ibadan. Joseph Sanusi Badamosi Adeguke Adilabu was born in Okeoluokun, Ibadan, to Sanusi Adilabu and Awujola Ajoke on September 3, 1915. Adilabu's mother died in 1920 when he was just five years old. Born and raised in the Islamic faith, Adeguke Adilabu was sent to the St. David CMS Elementary School, Kudeti, Ibadan, between 1925 and 1929 and the CMS Central School, Mapo, Ibadan, in 1930. Adilabu had double promotions in the elementary and primary schools and proceeded to the government college, Ibadan, where he also had a double promotion. He left the government college while in Form 4 and proceeded on a United Africa Company UAC scholarship to Yaba Higher College, Yaba Lagos, in 1936, which was then Nigeria's only higher college. The USC offered Adilabu a job as an assistant to the district manager of Ibadan following his higher education. His first task was to tour the cocoa producing regions in the Ibadan province. At the end of the trip, Adilabu proposed a plan to reorganize the production of cocoa and the organization of commerce. This work won him a promotion within the company as an assistant produce manager. In 1937, Adilabu left the USC and joined the produce trade business. However, he failed in the trade and was soon looking for a civil service job. In 1939, he became an agricultural inspector and later a supervisor of a cooperative society. He was with the society until 1945 when he went back to the USC. The Ibadan People's Party IPP was founded by Adelabu's Egbe Omoibile, Augustus Akinloye, and a youth group from the Ibadan Progressive Union IPU during local elections in 1951 as a challenge to the Ibadan Progressive Union's old guards. He capitalized on some anti jebu sentiments among native Ibadan residents, especially after the laws of the Oshun Division, which was supported by action group leaders such as Obafemi Aulowo and Ladoki Akintola. The new party won all the six seats in the Western Regional House of Assembly. However, an informal alliance proposed by Adelabu to support the National Council of Nigerian Citizens NCNC fell apart and four of the elected members joined the action group. Adelabu then became more active in the organization of the NCNC in Ibadan and became the secretary of the party's Western Province Working Committee while earning recognition within the party as the only IPP legislator who stayed with the NCNC. In 1952, Adilabu published a book, Africa in Ebullition, a handbook of freedom for Nigerian nationalists that revealed his political thoughts about the Nigeria of his day. To provide a formidable organization to challenge the action group in the 1954 elections, Adilabu formed a new organization, the Ibadan Taxpayers Association, which was an attempt to attract mass following based on a tax reform. The group then formed an alliance with a farmer's group called Mayegun to become the Mabolaje Grand Alliance. The alliance won majority of the seats in the Ibadan District Council during the 1954 local elections, paving the way for Adelabu to become the district chief. He also became chairman of the council's finance committee and any other standing board. Adeguke Adelabu also won a seat in the House of Representatives during the 1954 federal elections and his party secured plurality seats in the House of Representatives. Adelabu later became the NCNC's first national vice president and was appointed Minister of Social Services, a position he held from January 1955 until January 1956 at the same time 
as chairman of the Badon District Council. In 1955, Adilabu's administration in the District Council was the subject of investigation into allegations of corruption. The inquiry was set up by the AG-dominated Western Regional Government. He resigned both positions after the report of the inquiry into the affairs of the District Council. Adiguke Adelabu ran again for a seat at the National Assembly in 1956, this time as the NCNC representative in the Western Region. So high were his hopes at the polls that he requested his name and desired position, Adelabu, Prime Minister of the Western Region, to be printed on clothes. The party nevertheless lost a majority of the seats to the ruling party, the Action Group. However, Adilabu went on to become the minority leader in the Western Regional House of Assembly. After the defeat, he proposed a carving out of a central Yoruba state, which would comprise of Ibadan, Oyo, and Dondo provinces from the Western Region. These provinces that would make up these new states were strongholds of the NCNC. In 1958, unfortunately, the proposal was overwhelmingly rejected based on party lines. That same year, Adilabu opposed the leadership of Namdi Azikwe because of its support for a tripartite national government consisting of the Action Group, NCNC, and the NPC. He detested the inclusion of the Action Group, where he described it as an unholy union. Due to the state of opposition in the Western Regional House of Assembly at Ibadan, Adeguke Adelabu, with his deep knowledge of the English language, described the situation as a peculiar mess. Not understanding what he meant, the non-literate section of his audience translated the phrase to Penkele Messi, a urbanization of the phrase peculiar mess. The phrase has stuck to this day. Thus, Adeguke Adelabu is often referenced as the author of that expression, Penkele Messi. On March 25, 1958, Alhaji Adeguke Adelabu died on May 51 on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway near Shagamu, present day Ogun State. He was returning from Lagos along with a Syrian businessman when their car, a Pojo 203, smashed an oncoming vehicle. He was just 42. Following his death, many of his supporters trooped to the streets of Ibadan to beat up political opponents. They burnt their houses and also set their cars ablaze. Reacting to his death, Nigeria's Prime Minister Sir Abubakar Tsafawa Balewa described Adilabu as an intellectual whose capacity was recognized by his opponents. However, the story of Adeguke Adilabu, the peculiar Kbenkele Messi, will continue to resonate as the years go by, even from generation to generation. <music>